I guess things are okay. Oh, oh no, no they're not. He hates dancing, then why are you dancing, William? You should just stop, you're an adult. and welcome back to another Academic Adventures episode. So I made a slight mistake. I did say that there was going to be a time skip in this episode, which we did see in the last Royal Family episode, but then I realized, wait a second, I really want to see Cedric's experience back at school after the whole incident with Sterling happened in the last episode. So if you missed it in the last episode, it was pretty messy. Uh, Cedric invited Sterling to this party that was happening at like the student house for the prep school and Sterling showed up and Sterling was being like really weird and was flirty with Colin and then he admitted to cheating on Cedric which was a huge shock to me so Cedric ended up breaking up with him so I want to say I don't know if I want this to be like the day after like the first day back at school? I think so. I, I, I want to like see what's going on and then and then we'll like do the whole time skip. Also, I got this mod. It's called Life's Drama Mod by Sacrificial Mods and I'm curious if we can use it in today's episode. We have Cedric. He is feeling the stressies from Strict Family Dynamic. That's from his dad. Um, and then Looming Anxiety from A Fear of Unfulfilled Dreams. However, I kind of want to see it as Looming Anxiety because of today because what's gonna happen because he knows he has to see Colin and everyone else and he doesn't know what's going on and then he also still has a moodlet broken-hearted rage about Cedric's heart aches oh Prince Cedric heart Prince Cedric's heart aches and someone he cared about caused him so much pain and bitter memory this piece wait this place reeks of bitter betrayal and I feel like that's because of Colin so we are back here again First day back at school after the whole incident happened. I'm very curious about this life. I, I, it's, I did not get life tragedies, life's drama. So what can we do? I did set his social popularity up all the way. Um, practice dramatic posing, practice tea spilling. You can practice that. Watch drama videos, watch hot topics, social help, contributed events, help in clout, Help a clout changer gain popularity. Wait a second. Help a sim with advice. Help a sim with their crush. Invite the feathers club over, like the Heathers. Get plastic surgery. Get a class in, get, wait, what? Get a class in social drama. The heck? What? Okay. I don't know how much of this we can use. So what is the interaction for other people? Because I do think Cedric's feeling a little bit bitter about Colin, but we also don't know who Sterling cheated on him with, and I don't think Cedric knows either, but I wonder if he's assuming it's Colin because of what happened. Also, we still need to find out what Colin's, like, end goal was with that whole thing. Where is he? I definitely saw him earlier. Is he in class right now? I also just want some Cedric to get some true friends here. Obviously, we do have Tally, and then he knows Cassidy and Nora, so I want to see if they can all become friends too. Okay, so we have Chelsea. This is Colin's twin sister. Life's drama. Dirty secrets have Chelsea leave. Social popularity, what's dirty secrets? Ask about Chelsea's dirty secret. Attempt to gain her trust. Wait, this sounds like something I should be playing from the other side of things. When Colin was trying to get on Cedric's good side. Where is Colin, by the way? Oh, 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 wait. Oh, Cedric's talking to Bahir and also to Itaro, which he does know. All right, friendly introduction. So he's telling Itaro what happened. Itaro saw what happened. He was there at the party and he, and now he's dating Cedric's cousin Sissy. I feel like we can trust Itaro here. He seems like a good kid. He like straight up went to Sissy and was like, like after asked her out, but was also like, hey, I think something's going on with your cousin that you should know about. I'm still looking for Colin. Anyway, I really want Chelsea to be like, hey, I heard what my brother did. And just so you know, I think that's not like, he shouldn't have done that, like all this stuff. And I wanna know if Cedric actually falls for it. I did see someone say that maybe Colin actually is a good kid and that he 
is being manipulated by his family. So I am curious to play more to find out and to see. Honestly, what I really wanted to do, well, first of all, what I really wanted was for Colin to be here so we could confront him. I, I just, I wanted to see what, ha like, how is the day when he comes back? Because what happened with Sterling was so freaking messy. Oh my gosh, wait, Cedric and Tally are in today's class together. Oh, this is a full class. Okay, they are sitting though on the complete opposite and everybody is on their phone. Okay, so it is now lunchtime. I have brought Colin here. I don't know if this is gonna mess things up. First, I'm going to have Chelsea. She is going to try and gain Cedric's trust. I So here's the thing. I wonder if she would like try to make things okay with her and Colin or if she would try to gain his trust by turning Cedric against her brother. What if she told Colin she would talk to Cedric and said, I'll, I'll tell him that like you didn't mean it. You like, it was just a misunderstanding that you definitely did not cheat. Like Sterling did not cheat on Cedric with you, all of this stuff. But what if she actually was trying to turn Cedric against her brother? This is really messed up. Maybe whatever she sees working, like she just wants to get on Cedric's good side. But if Cedric is like so against Colin, like I think, Colin and Cedric's relationship right now. Colin is, oh, oh, wait a sec. Whoa. Okay, well, he has a little bit of a negative relationship with Cedric, but also his sister. What happened? Hurt. Colin said a bit about Chelsea. Colin feels wronged by Chelsea. What did this girl do? Okay, maybe she is turning Cedric against her brother then. What the heck? Attempt failed. Prince Cedric doesn't trust Chelsea yet. <gasps> okay, okay, good for you, Cedric. Good for you. Okay, what if what if Colin tries to apologize to Cedric? What if what if Colin apologizes? Okay, he's like, hey, can we talk? I want to apologize to you. Honestly, I kind this is interesting to me that we actually have no idea if Colin was the one that Sterling cheated with. Oh no, oh, 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 very sad from feeling hurt. Is is Colin actually innocent in all of this? Cedric, are you gonna accept his apology? Oh, you're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too. Oh my gosh, what if he apologized and said that? Like, hey, I swear this was a misunderstanding. I do actually really want to hang out with you? Wait, Cedric, did you accept his apology? Did you say okay? What is this? What is this? Chat with Colin. You're chatting with Colin now. Is it like in a like a good chatting or a bad? Oh, oh, the relationship. Oh, wait, he did accept his apology. He accepted it. Guiding lies. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Okay. Okay, but Colin's feeling really sad. So Colin, are you going to try to gain his trust now? Honestly, this is not how I thought this day was going to go. Okay, attempt to gain Prince Cedric's trust. Because him and Chelsea are not doing good right now. Y'all, just let it go. Colin can't help but feel frustrated about Prince Cedric clinging to the other side of that argument. In a perfect world, they would have, they both would have just let it rest and talked about something else. Could this mean that Colin dislikes arguments? Guys, it would be so interesting if he is just the complete opposite of what we thought he was. Okay, so I guess things are okay. <laughs> I didn't quite like, oh, oh no, no, they're not. Wait, no, Cedric's arguing it. Wait, what? I thought you, I thought you agreed. I thought you guys were okay. This is not going, this is, this is, this is so back and forth. I don't know what to do. Ultimately, I think Cedric's pretty freaking hurt about what happened. And also, what the heck is going on with Colin and Chelsea? Maybe Colin, did Colin over here, Chelsea, like try to turn Cedric against him? and then say, well, apparently it didn't work though, but what is going on? Can you confront? Can we confront her? I don't know if we can. Attempt failed. Prince Cedric doesn't touch, tr no, no. He still doesn't trust Colin. He does not trust Colin. Okay, so we are actually with Graham and Caspian at Foxbury this time. So we are back to the springtime. I think in the next, unless we just, I don't think we're gonna have time in this episode, but in the next episode, we will focus on Cedric and it will have been the time skip. I know I said that technically would have been this episode, but then I realized, wait, I wanna see what things are like 
when he comes back to school. So I want to, to just show Grandma Caspian first because in the last episode of The Royal Family, Graham and his girlfriend Molly Grace are long distance and they took a temporary separation. So they, they're on a break essentially. And I wanted to see if there was any interactions for Graham to like to talk to Caspian about it. He can tell Caspian about his temporary separation. So if you did miss it or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Basically, Molly Grace, she goes to dance school, very hardcore, serious, like very demanding. And she is not, I mentioned this in the last episode, like in the last Academic Adventures episode too. Ooh, ooh, wait, sad news. But hey, you know, the best way to get over romantic disappointments, forget the, <gasps> Caspian! I just tried that like, three times. I think that's the only thing he can say to him. I wish there was something else. I don't think Caspian would say that. I don't think, I don't, <laughs> my heart dropped. What? This doesn't sound like Caspian. Okay, fine. Maybe Caspian is just saying, like he's like, <laughs> I don't think he would say that doesn't sound like him. I don't think he thinks that's a good idea. I, what if he's just directing Graham's attention to something else? Maybe guys are just bad at talking. I don't, y'all. I don't think Caspian would say that. I don't think he would, right? Right? He definitely wouldn't say forget them. Like, I think this is just his way of... <laughs> okay, why don't we word it differently? This is what Caspian said. He is like, I am so sorry to hear that bad, bro, whatever, however guys talk. Do you want to talk about it? Graham is like, uh, uh, no, uh, I don't really know what to say. I don't, I don't know. And Caspian is like, okay, well, I'm here if you do. If you need to get your mind off of things, we can go out or something. Yeah, like if you need to get your mind off of things, we can go out, we can find something to do. And Graham's like, okay, thanks, man. <laughs> Graham's gonna handle this the way that William handles things. Also, I don't think Caspian would say that because of what William did. That's exactly what William did to get his mind off of Minerva, hook up with someone else, and then he got like accused of like getting a girl pregnant, which he didn't. So I don't think Graham's gonna handle it that way. Okay, so I went, now we're going back to Alice May William and I skipped a few days because I wanted it to be the weekend. These are Alice May's final grades. Girl has been doing really good. I thought she might struggle a little bit um, because of like her ADHD and stuff, but um, maybe her meds are helping. I don't know. Dang, dang. Willie, okay, that's not bad for William, honestly. That's pretty good too. Good job, both of you. Oh, Cedric's calling. Oh my gosh. Oh Oh my gosh, would you like to sign up for another term? Yes, we would. Yes, we would. Okay, so Alice is gonna take four, four core class. Let's do the four core classes. Living here, pay with household funds, yes. Wow, you guys have a lot of money. Why do you have so much money? Four classes, okay. And we're gonna live here. And that was really easy. If only applying to university was that easy. All right, so it is Friday. As we saw the whole thing with like Graham and Caspian and like caught up on them, I guess we should have probably seen their grades and focused on their school. For academic adventures, this is like nothing to do with school, but like if you expected it to, I apologize, but it was not really funny. <laughs> You're calling again, Cedric? Okay. Okay, so now it's there's been a time skip though. So in the next episode, so I kind of, because Cedric's prom's going to come up and I want to start working towards that. And I have no idea who he's gonna ask or like how he's been handling things. Dang, everyone's calling. Yes, answer the phone to your father. Hi, Fallon, doing push-ups. Okay, their aunt is just here. Checking in on them, I guess? I mean, sure, you're welcome to come in if you would like. All right, but I want to plan a stayover. So, all right, we're gonna do two nights. Honestly, I was just gonna have Molly Grace come visit, but I also want everyone to meet. I want like Jessica and Nani to come visit too. Oh, and wait, and Frederick and everyone. Okay, but maybe that's too much for Molly Grace right now who's going through a breakup. Maybe she shouldn't be around the couples, even though she's about to be around William and his boyfriend. Let's just do Molly Grace right now. Just for an, actually just stay one night. I don't think you'd be able to stay that long that, that you're in dance school. Are you ready to start the stay over? Yes, I am. Oh my gosh, Molly Grace is just here. Oh, she's already here. That was really, really fun. Jabari! Jabari! Why are you here? You couldn't leave your daughter. Oh, you're leaving. 
leaving. You're leaving. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Fallon's still here. I forgot about. Well, I, I don't want to invite Jabari in, but like, should we invite? I mean, sure. I why are you here? Why are they here? Anyway, Molly Grace, stay over and guess. What is your mood right now? We're gonna welcome her. Be like, oh my gosh, you're here. Give a big hug. I'm sure. Okay, also, Willie, you're like real dressed up. Okay, all right. I couldn't. What do you mean your class? Oh, it's Friday. Oh, oh, oops. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, you have class? Well, crap. Okay, well, maybe Molly Grace just arrives and she's like, hey, I gotta go class. And she's like, that's fine. Um, William, I think you have to. You have to go to go to class. Go to class. You're supposed to go to class. Okay, William is going to class. Um, so they so Molly Grace is coming. They they have class, but maybe this is the only time she should get here. So they're like, yes, definitely come hang out. Oh oh, she's telling her about the breakup. She's like, well, okay, I think Alice already knew about it, and Molly Grace definitely told her about it because in the last episode of the Royal Family, it was Alice's birthday party. That's where Molly Grace and Graham broke up. What's the tea? Oh ooh. Oh. What's the tea? Princess Alice may so shook after hearing that particular juicy got. Okay, she already knew about it. I wonder if they've talked and like she's giving her any new information. I'm just gonna say yes. We'll say yes, but we'll say it's not as much as Molly Grace and Jessica do. So Molly Grace has heard Alice may talk about her friend Panda. I feel like Molly Grace, because she's going through so much, gets a little bit jealous. I don't think Alice may talks about her that much, but like Molly Grace has heard a bit about her. Maybe she hasn't cared as much until all this stuff, until like shit started going out the window at dance school and she was just having such a bad time. I do think because Molly Grace has just recently broke up with Graham and this is a time for her, she's feeling happy though, um, but this is a time for her to kind of like heal. Alice May definitely just wanted it to be her and Molly Grace. However, I said that Graham wasn't like a partier and doesn't want to go out after him and Molly Grace are on a break. I don't think the same goes for Molly Grace though. I I feel like Molly Grace wants to get her mind off of things. I don't want her to like hook up with anyone at the party, but if she tries, I'm not gonna, well, Mo Alice May might stop her. Alice May might stop her. Her and Molly Grace, they're going, they're just hanging out, they're talking, they're catching up. This is the first time they've really gotten to talk because at Alice May's birthday party, I don't think she really got to talk. I do wanna see, can I just add her to the fam? I know she's a stay over guest. I can't control her because I, I had to take out the mod. The control any sim mod's kind of broken right now. So yeah, I think Kanda asked Alice May to hang out and she was like, I'm sorry, I can't. My friend's in town and I, I need to see her. She's kind of going through it right now. And Kanda was like, sure, that's fine. But we're having another party. <laughs> I think all the parties are just gonna be at their house and you're welcome to go. So we're gonna have some deep conversations here. Become best friends, you guys are best friends yet? Well, yeah, they're already best friends, I think. Okay, okay, well now, now it's official apparently with the game. Okay, I do have to play from her point. I'm gonna add her to the family. That might ruin. Oh no! I did ruin it. I ruined it. I ruined it. Okay, never mind. I can't click on her now. I just wanted to like be able to control from her. But anyway, okay, okay. So Alice May asks Molly Grace if she wants to go to this party. But it's not like Alice May is like, we're gonna just go out with Kanda. Like, what do you want to do? I feel like Molly Grace is still like a little like meh about Kanda. Really nothing about her besides the fact that she's just a little bit jealous. But honestly, I feel like Molly Grace wants to go out, you guys. And this can be the time. Well, we're like JC meets Molly Grace too. So they're all gonna meet at the party. Okay, so it is now party time. I feel like every episode we've got a party. Honestly, parties and group gatherings are the best time, I feel like for story purposes, especially with the prep school because Cedric's classmates all don't show up and it kind of makes it difficult. So we might see a lot more partying than schoolwork. <laughs> but it's for story purposes. It's to, it's to have the story go along faster, not because that's what school is all about. I do think I made a mistake by having having uh, Molly Grace do the stay over because now I can't control her. I don't know how this is gonna go. I do need Molly Grace to meet JC though. So, JC and William have been dating for quite a while now. I'm gonna add JC to the household, otherwise I don't know how else to introduce. I might have to add Kanda to the household in that case too, because I want to introduce Kanda to Molly Grace as well. Also, now that I do have the road to romance, you're so fun to be around. Oh, they get along so well. A lot of 
we both shipped them, I saw in the comments. So hopefully things go well here because JC seems very supportive. So I'm gonna add him to the family. Um, JC's feeling flirty. JC is going to introduce himself to Molly Grace or William's gonna come down. He's like, come on, hey, I want you to meet one of my childhood friends who I'm really close with. So this, this, is, this is important. So let's do a respectful introduction. Wait, do you already know her? Wait, oh, they've met already and apparently already have a good relation. Okay, so she's making a good impression already. But let's see, small talk, get to know. I think JC's been briefed about Molly Grace's breakup. Um, honestly, Molly Grace seems to be doing pretty good, but I really do think it's like a front. I feel like she's still hurt. I want to see her sentiments because I do think she's still hurt. Not sentiments, sorry, her, her moodlets. I don't think she's quite quite over what happened with her and Graham yet. So now Kanda, I do want Kanda to meet Molly Grace. Um, oh, are you flirting? Oh, you're flirting with Amber. Who, I don't know who you are, but man, you guys are flirting. Wow, okay, it scares me a little bit how much people are flirting. I am not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't I didn't initiate that. No one initiated that. Okay, so Molly Grace now needs to meet Kanda. So I feel like Kanda. I want to play for Molly Grace. I feel like Molly Grace would do a rude introduction. Okay, so I was able to, could, uh, now I'm able to, I did this like uh, the family management mod, um, select Molly Grace, but now I can only play for Molly Grace until I can switch back, but I should be able to switch back. So Molly Grace is going to do a snooty introduction because I absolutely think she would. Even though her and Kanda, I feel like have the potential to be besties, but Molly Grace is being, oh. Oh my gosh, that didn't phase Kanda at all. That didn't phase Kanda at all. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 what is this? What is this? A petty jab. You're gonna do a petty jab to Kanda, Molly Grace, or uh, Alice May. Are you see Alice May's playing video games. No, Alice May, you're missing this. You're missing this. I feel like she would definitely pull uh, Molly Grace aside after this. They're having an offensive conversation. Hello, fun. Now it's a funny conversation. Okay, what is happening here? Now it's a funny conversation. Molly Grace is feeling confident above it all from being snooty. That is actually hilarious. Okay, now I've switched back to Alice Bay. This is just, there's gonna be a lot of switching here apparently. But Molly Grace, and I, I I wonder if she can hear what's happening. Oh, wait, wait, was that with Kanda's roommate? Was that a flirty thing with Kanda's roommate? Okay, Alice May, come here, come here, come here. Maybe JC is like, um, oh, Finn, you're not, you shouldn't be dancing though. Uh, you should be protecting. Um, while this is all happening, I do want JC and William try this road to, pa or the passionate romance. He hates dancing, then why are you dancing, William? You should just stop, you're an adult. You can literally just stop. <laughs> Woohoo on unconventional object. Uh, okay, well, wh what's considered an unconventional object? Uh, my curiosity, oh, oh, what? Why is the list so long? It's so long! Books? How can you ever want books? All right, that is not unconventional. Counter, oh, I guess it's like dimensional. Okay, I'm so sorry. I am so curious and also scared. What do you mean books? How can you woohoo on books? I Do I want to know? What is this even with? Is this with a mod? I don't have Wicked Whims. So this should be PG-13. Where are you going? Where are you, y'all? I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. What does this mean? Woo. How do you woohoo on books? I mean, like, I, I, well, no, I guess I don't help. But like, in what is this? What is this? They're just staring at it. They're, they're, are, are y'all good? Ah, ah, what? <laughs> They've disappeared? Where did they go? What? My mind is blown. What is this? They're not woohooing for the first time. That how they got together was definitely their first time woohooing. Okay, I have so many questions. 
have so many questions, but I also don't think I want to know. Okay, also, I don't know if Molly Grace is flirting with this guy. Oh my god, please don't tell me. Is this the guy that Kanda hooked up with last time at the last party? No, it's not the guy she hooked up with is dead. Guys, this episode is so weird. What happened? Can I find out? How do you got okay if anyone knows how to figure out how someone has died Please tell me wait. Can I can I bring him here? I need I need to know I am so curious We're bringing the ghost here. How did you die? Can, can I find out? I don't know if I can I thought it might tell me but I can't dude that sucks Imagine finding out someone you hooked up with it was like a one-time thing. I'm pretty sure well, I don't know, the romance is pretty high. What happened? Okay, now you need to leave. The ghost needs to leave. Oh my, ask about being dead. No, I, I can't, I can't. This is, I can't. Okay, so that's not the guy that. Did he fart? And she, wait, why did he fart? And their romance went up. This episode's so weird. <laughs> okay, I actually realized Molly Grace doesn't have anything about Graham. Is she not sad? Is she, oh, she does have a room. Okay, her and this guy have been flirting a little bit. We'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, so lovebird separated boyfriend. Wait, not broken up or divorced. Oh, they're not technically broken up. And then with Kanza, ask, ask what? Is Kanda pregnant? And I don't know about it. Wait, where'd it go? Wait, that's not, wait, what? Oh my gosh, it's a prank. Oh, thank, I thought she was pregnant. I was like, when did that happen? I love that they're all just watching my, our Alice Bay dance. I like that it's like, stuff was going down. And then Alice Bay's like, no, nobody fight. Look at me dance. <laughs> just look at me. Oh, William, are you back from doing things in books and disappearing? All right, we might need to wrap this up soon, but I'm wondering if anything is going to happen happen here because um, holy grace y'all graham is here graham's here why is he here why is he here why is he here <laughs> he has his phone out did molly grace call him did molly grace was molly grace in like a disarray i really think this is a front you guys i know it may seem like she doesn't have any of the negative reaction like interactions or bootlets but i feel like she's upset like she was upset when she broke things off with graham are we oh and now she's flirting with this guy maybe she left graham a message has she been drinking a little bit? Maybe she left Graham a message and was like, I don't I don't know what she would have said. Was she crying? Something to make it seem like she wasn't okay. Wait, was Graham so concerned about Molly Grace that he showed up here? Oh, she's coming to talk to Graham herself. Kiss! Y'all, I did not tell her to do this. I did not tell her to do this. I did not tell her to do this. Should I just let it happen? Do I just stand by and let it happen and witness this? What is happening? This is, this is... Oh, okay, yeah, sure, you guys can be close. This is crazy! Are you really gonna just- Oh, 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 oh my god, this must be so confusing for Graham! Wait, what am I supposed to do now? Wait, no, you can't just leave him there, he's here! He's here, he can't- Wait, should we end it? <laughs> do I end it here? I'm confused. He literally showed, okay, you need to talk to him though if he showed up. If he's come all the way, if he's driven, not that far, it's like 30 minutes, but if he's driven here, cause he was so concerned about you, he knew you were gonna be here, you probably told him in your message. She literally went up to him and kid, okay, we, we can't just let, we can't leave it at that. We we need to figure something out here. What are we doing? What What's the plan? Understanding ears from apologizing, Molly Grace's partner. So maybe she apologizes for calling him and worrying him with this whatever message message she set. Conflicted from flirting back. This can't lead to anything good. But this sim is making it so hard to resist them. Should I stay or go? Because technically she's still in a relationship. She's flirting with Graham. You know what though? It's good Graham showed up. Because Molly Grace was about to hook up with that other guy. I'm pretty sure she was. They're actually, I'm like 99% sure that it was what what is about to happen. I don't think they're back together here. I think now that he knows she's okay. Like she apologized for making him worry and for coming here. Oh, hi. 
Uh, you need to leave them alone. Oh, he's clapping for them! Did you all- Oh wait, they're flirting now. Okay, this is really confusing. Finn, Finn is also like, it's my job to also make sure you're okay. Now that Graham knows that she's okay, I feel like he'd be like, okay, well, I just wanted to check. I'm gonna go back now. Also, what's going on with Molly Grace and Canada? Do they really not like each other? They've got like a little bit of a relationship because I think they would actually get along so well. Okay, I do feel like Canada might bring it up later. Like, does your friend not like me? <laughs> like she, she, I was really excited to meet her, but like, I don't know if she likes me. But William and Jay-Z seem to be doing good. They disappeared behind a bunch of books to woohoo, and that was weird. Okay, I think we're gonna end this here. Okay, again, this episode was weird. I'm gonna take this off. In the next episode, we're gonna see more with Cedric, what's going on with him, how he's handling things months after him and Sterling have broken up, and what the heck is going on with Colin and with Chelsea. Please let me know in the comments. I, I, I do need help with this. This is, it's just everything so weird. How many times have I said weird? I've said it like 30 times, I feel like at this point. It was a weird freaking episode. So make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.